for that seat. Irene Jones in the desegregation of the Ketchikan School District. Schoenbar Middle School now educates and empowers students to be leaders, critical thinkers, problem solvers, no matter what race or gender you are. Students at Schoenbar go to the same classes together, go on camping trips together, and go on survival trips together. They also compete against other schools around Southeast Alaska. There are three main native cultures that are found in Southeast Alaska. These native cultures are Tlingit, Haida, and Simshian. These three cultures would come together to end segregation. Not all students were allowed to go to school together in Alaska's history. In 1867, Russia sold Alaska, and by 1869, the peace policy was passed. The goal was to bring civilization to American Indians through education. Formal contracts by the federal government were given to churches to help to deal with the Indian problem. By 1898, 14 federal schools and 15 mission schools were founded throughout Alaska. In 1906, Congress passed the Nelson Act. This established a second school system to educate white children and children of mixed blood who led a civilized life in segregates Alaska schools. Native education was the responsibility of the Bureau of Indian Affairs, part of the U.S. Department of the Interior. Some Native students attended the main school, which sat up top of a hill overlooking Ketchikan, though most Natives went to the Federal Elementary. The act or practice of segregating, a setting apart of separation of people or things from others to form a main body or group. Nettie Jones was born on March 6, 1894. She was married to Paul Young Jones and was the mother of seven children. The Jones made their livelihood from fishing. Nettie Jones wanted her family to attend the main school, as she has done. Nettie did not want her children treated differently and to attend a regular school. Main school offered a better education as Indian schools were inferior. The Indian school was located at 429 Deermont Street, uphill from where Tatsudas used to be. Ketchikan Creek was seen as a segregation line. North of the creek was for white culture. South of the Ketchikan Creek was where the natives were restricted. Natives knew that if they crossed the line, they would face severe abuse or harassment. Some natives went to the main school, but only if they didn't look too native or if they were good at basketball. There were three main schools in 1929 in Ketchikan, Alaska. These were White Cliff, Main School, and the Borough of Indian Affairs School. All three schools went through first to eighth grade. Some out of high school students attended Ketchikan High, since there was no government facility for them. Other natives accepted that it was the end of their education and work jobs for their families. Other natives attended schools such as Sheldon Jackson or Wrangell Institute. Most with their trains of woodshop or how to be a seamstress. On September 3rd, 1929, Irene Jones, who was 12 years old, attended the main school. By September 5th, Irene Jones was denied access to the main school. She was told by Ketchikan Superintendent Tony E. Carnes that there was not enough room at the main school and we are going to get rid of all the Native children. The Jones family met twice with the school board requesting to be admitted back to the main school. The school board denied parents' requests both times. The school board clerk told Paul Young Jones, if we admit Irene, we'd have to let in the rest of the Indian children. Irene Jones was not the only student told to leave the main school. There was also three other students that they said couldn't go to the main school. The Jones family wanted to have the best education for their family. The Jones family hired famed attorney William Paul Sr. 
William Paul Sr. was one of the leaders for Alaska Natives in their quest for equal rights. William Paul Sr. had confronted segregation already in Wrangell. He was also known for protecting Native missionaries from fish traps in the 1920s. So on September 10, 1929, William Paul Sr. brought a lawsuit against the Ketchikan School Board. On September 10, 1929, William Paul Jones signed the writ of mandamus that Irene should be admitted to the Ketchikan Public Schools. A writ of mandamus is a court order compelling someone to execute a duty that they are legally supposed to complete. In this case, Paul Young Jones was asking the school board to follow the law and allow Native students to attend the main school. During the time that the writ of mandamus was being filed against the Ketchikan School Board, William Paul went to Maine School to find out about the overcrowding issue, which was the reason the school gave the Jones family for why the Native students had to go to the Indian School. William Paul discovered the desks the Native students had sat in had been removed, thus there was no room for the Native students. However, a non-native student had enrolled into Maine school and desks were added into the classroom. This led William Paul to file discrimination against the Ketchikan School Board. Attorney William Paul stated that evidence shows that four children were sent out. Irene Jones, Nellie Kennedy, Jeanette Kennedy, and Ernstine Jones. All of them Indian descent, this discrimination is prohibited by the 14th Amendment to the United States Constitution. Discrimination is a term that describes when there is unjust or unfair treatment to a group of people due to their race. In this case, the Jones family, as well as the Alaska Natives, were being discriminated against because of their culture and traditions. The 14th Amendment to the United States Constitution states that all people born in the United States are citizens of the United States and no state can make laws that stop the privileges of being a U.S. citizen. All citizens have equal protection of the law. Evidence shows that Native Alaskans have been in Alaska for 10,000 years. During the court case, Irene Jones took the stand testifying that superintendent of the main school, Tony E. Carnes, stated to Irene Jones, you need to leave and take your kind with you. Judge Justin W. Harding reached his decision on the writ of mandamus, which stated that the defendant's Ketchikan School Board failed to show cause. The writ of mandamus should be made absolute, meaning that the Ketchikan School Board needed to follow the law and allow the students to go back to the school. The Ketchikan School Board was commanded by the District Court for the District of Alaska to admit Irene Jones to the public schools of the city of Ketchikan, Alaska on September 25, 1929. The Jones family had won as the writ of mandamus was ordered to be absolute, yet problems still happened for the Jones family. The Jones family would be shunned by the white community for questioning and winning against the practice of segregation. Second, the Jones family were also shunned by the native community for causing embarrassment within the community. After the ruling, only Irene Jones returned back to the main school. The other students had been through so much they didn't want to go back to the main school and return to the Indian school the rest of the year due to it being more congenial. Irene went back stating, I fought for that desk, I am going to sit in it. This was a tough time for Irene Jones. She did not like to talk about what happened during this time. Irene faced the teachers, students, and administrators who had shunned her because of the color of her skin alone. She was the only Native student at the main school. She did not have any friends as discussed by her daughter, Judy Needham. Um, you know, my grandmother once said she didn't have any friends because the white people didn't like what she had done and the Native people were embarrassed that she did it. So she didn't, you know, there was no line for her to, to walk because it, they chose sides and, and that was it. Irene shattered norms in Ketchikan, Alaska. The Jones family had contributed to the integration of Ketchikan schools. Integration means that all races go to school together. The next year, more Native students attended the main school. There was still resistance to integration. Irene Jones would graduate from high school at the age of 17. At the age of 17, Irene suffered from a stroke. Irene would have to learn again how
how to read and write, walk and dress, talk, and learn her numbers. Irene would get married and raise four children of her own, finding happiness in her life. Judy Needham would ask her mother, what would you have done if you didn't have the stroke? Irene responded that she would have wanted to explore the world. On December 27, 1979, the Ketchikan Gateway Borough School District would issue Resolution Number 172, stating the Ketchikan Gateway Borough School District respectfully acknowledges the accomplishments of William L. Paul Sr. and Nettie Jones Ellison after 50 years in their efforts for equal education opportunity for all students. Today, students all go to school together in Ketchikan. In Ketchikan, there are five elementary schools, three middle schools, and two high schools. Students can choose what schools they go to, no matter what race or gender they are. Students have these opportunities because of the Jones family and their stand against racism and discrimination. For that, we would all like to say, Hawa Nettie Jones. Hawa Paul Young Jones. Hawa William Paul Sr. Hawa Gunishtish Deutschen Irene. Thank you. Hawa and Deutschen Gunishtish Irene Jones. How are going to see in direction, Irene? Going to see Irene. How are you? Am dum shite go 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 dum. Am dum shite go 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 dum. Am dum shite go 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 dum. Why am I am I am? New shell. I know I'm smiling. Yeah. How come? Why am I am I am? Am dum shite go 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 dum. Am dum shite go 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 dum. Am dum shite go 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 dum. Why am I am I am? Nooshim wakeyum, nooshim scowgum, why am, why am, why am? Am dum shite go, cockorum, am dum shite go, cockorum, am dum shite go, cockorum, why am, why am, why am, why am?